Right, I have a couple more questions to give a hand with here. Uh, simplify the following. So here we've got fractions. Simplify the number by the number first. So 7 goes into 7 once and 7 goes into 14 twice. So we can sort of just cancel common factors. U to the power of 7. I've got 7 U's on top. I've got 1 on the bottom. So the 1 on the bottom can cancel with one of the ones on the top, which leaves me with 6 on the top still. Finally, e to the negative 7. Well, I don't like it being at the top, so to move it down the bottom, I've got to change its sign from negative 7 to positive 7. I don't like negative, so I'm moving it down the bottom. And when you move a term being raised to a power and it's a negative power, the sign changes, or even if it's a positive power. So either way, the sign's going to change. Now you just neaten it up a little bit. 1 times u to the power of 6 is u to the power of 6. I've still got 2 on the bottom, and e to the 7 times e to the 7. Well, that'll be e to the 14. Let's have a look at the next one. Cube here has a length of 22. Draw the right angle triangle ABC. I don't know why they wrote it twice. ABC is there. Okay. Find a label all side lengths. So cube has a side length of 22. So that side's going to be 22. That's going to be 22. And they're both in centimetres, was it? Metres. Well, a little bit of Pythagoras' theorem. Uh, you know, this is the hypotenuse. H squared equals 22 squared plus 22 squared. You can do a little bit of calculator work. What you're going to find is H is equal to 22 times root 2, or whatever that is as a decimal. Um, how do I do that? Just add the two together and square root it. Your calculator will give you this answer. If it doesn't, it will give you a decimal, which will be fine. If you want to answer using exact values and you weren't sure how to get it, I better show you. So this was actually equal to 484 plus 484, which is, of course, 800, 960 plus another 8, 968. And so that was still h squared. I just jumped to the answer there because this is actually just a multiple of your best friend's little buddy, which is, of course, 1, 1 and root 2. That's how I knew to get to the answer so quickly because that's an isosceles right angle triangle. But let's finish it off anyway. So I want to find h is the square root of 968. Well, you need to look for a perfect square that's a factor of that. There could be all sorts of numbers there, but I know that 4 goes into 68. Let's just do it. Baby steps. 4 will go into 968. How many times? It'll go into 9 twice. Carry the 1. Into 16 4 times. And into 8 twice. Well, that worked. 4 is not going to go into that anymore, so there's no point looking for another factor of 4. What else is going to go into it? Well, you can see the pattern 2, 4, 2. If the numbers on the outside add up to the number in the middle, 11 is a factor. So the square root of 4 I got to being 2. 11 is a factor, but it's got to go into it twice, of course. So it's 121, 11 squared, multiplied by 2. If you can't see that, that's okay. That's a pretty tricky one to try and simplify. But now I've got 2 times 11 is 22, root 2. Draw the right angle triangle ACD. ACD. So along the bottom, we've got 22 root 2. I think your calculator, your graphics calculator, will actually give that to you anyway. So that's pretty nice. The height of the box here is still 22 because that's still one of my side lengths. This was the diagonal across the bottom. And now I want to find that side length there. So we've got two of them, so I draw and label. So this was A, this was C, this was D, and I need to find AD. Let's call it AD. That's very creative of me, isn't it? AD squared, that's line segment AD, is equal to 22 squared plus 22 root 2 squared. AD, when I square it, is going to be 484 plus 484 times 2, which is 968. So AD squared 
is these two added together 13 14 40 14 52 answer using exact values well this is going to be another little annoying one but it's good for us to practice our times tables all the time so i'm not going to complain am i so what's ad going to be it's going to be the square root and we only want the positive square root obviously the square root of 1452 well once again i know four is going to be a factor because four is going to go into the last two digits so let's just take out that factor of four and see where we end up four goes into 14 three times with two left over four goes into 25 six times with one left over and four goes into 12 three times 363 looks a lot like 242 or 121 doesn't it you've got a square root of four we've got that's two root 363 is 121 times three you can see the two roots there if i multiply them together i get 363 why did i want 121 because that's a perfect square two that's 11 so two times 11 is 22 root three and we are done i hope that was helpful that was pretty quick make sure you come and see me if you're still having trouble cheers guys